Man. Happy Dees Gold Day, we. Happy St. David's Day to all you Welsh. Yeah, this is our national day. Let's support it proud and patriotic. Our St. David's Day, 1st of January. Sorry, I didn't do an update yesterday. Didn't have the head to it. And then uh, my inbox went wild. <laughs> and it's like, hey, come on. Like, give us an update, good or bad, whatever. Just keep updating. And you're right, I should keep updating. Um, because to keep, you know, shouting loud, even though if I'm talking quietly, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, right, first of all, we'll start with Cayman um, yesterday and today in relation to the whole urine thing. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put two pictures up there just to show you. When I explained to you the other day about the urine being very yeasty, oh god, look at that mud. Uh, yeasty, like it was, like, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so the first picture I'm going to put up is probably going to be now. Um, is that was three days ago. Um, and the second picture I'm going to put up now is yesterday. So to me and Cayman, yesterday's one is like, oh, great, you're getting better, yeah. And then we have to stop and realise, which I'm sure you will, is that it's still not right colour, is it? Even though it's clean, it's less uh, foggy and stuff, uh, it's still not the right colour. Uh, but obviously we're just excited to see that it's not so foggy and stuff. So we've just got to be realistic about it on, on, on that one anyway. But um, yes, he ate yesterday. Uh, once uh, his uh, bowels are starting to play now because of the say he's eaten for three days now. Oh, this is what I'm noticing. Do you remember from the beginning I've been saying, could it be the medication you're giving him all this? Could it be a simple thing at the beginning? Again, I don't know, but it, you know, I need to document my thoughts. Uh, and the factual evidence that's going on with Cayman and stuff like, you know. But do you remember I said about, could it have been a simple, I don't know, constipation at the beginning or something? Or And this is me just hoping this is all it's going to be, you know. Obviously, we've still got the MRI scans coming up and everything. But this is me just hoping. But um, could it be because all that anti-vomits, anti-vomits and tablets for 14 weeks, you know. Or 12 weeks, sorry. Anti-vomits in... UV and uh, well I haven't made sure I've made sure like since he's been discharged from hospital he was on a few different medications until last Thursday till I took him to the GP which you remember me saying yeah, and I've stopped any medication because he's not even taking food I thought it would be dangerous him having all this medication in his system without nothing else so that's just something that came into my head this morning that's all um, is it because now his system is clear of everything his pee isn't as cloudy, could that be the reason? The, the, obviously the orange nest is still wrong, we know that, okay? The, the test doctor, the, as his GP is doing, she's concerned that there's something definitely wrong and the pee, the pee still isn't normal, we know that, but it's, it hasn't got that yeasty stuff, like we said. And could that be the reason why that was, had that stuff in there? But anyway, okay folks, remember I said I was going to, um, there's something big ready to come. And it's gonna come, but first of all, in order for me to get your understanding, um, and please don't be judgmental, because the next story of all this, what happened in Kamar then, is vitally important that I tell you the background first. It's for all those people who really don't understand my choices, or my son's choices, or and, and, and then they'll understand really what the reaction we've had and the, the issues. So I am, this week, going to give you a personal vlog of something about, quite personal, uh, but something I feel very strongly and I want to advocate about, and I want to educate people about, and get rid of a stigma or something. Um, but I'll leave it as that for now, because it's vitally important I get that out there first, before the next big, big one I was on about. Before I can release that, I've got to get all you good people to understand my choices and decisions. And I want you to 
listen to this and follow this and support this really with an open mind and hopefully you'll be a bit more understanding and maybe it'll educate some or maybe it'll help some maybe it won't but you know what i'm at a point in my life right that i don't really give a shit you know i'll do everything i can for me my friends people i love people i care and i'll be honest and i'll be kind and i'll be respectful and um and that's what i expect everybody else to be with me if you don't like what i have to say if you don't agree with what i do that's fine you're allowed to do that everybody's allowed to do that that's the problem with the world everybody's too scared to have an opinion or say there's every word has been turned into a dirty word you know there's a division in everything and um i don't want to be like that anymore you know i really don't we should all be more open minded to talking and accepting other people's opinions and views and um as you know everything that's going on in me is in relation to nhs um right my issue is with Carmarthen Glanguilly Hospital because that's where our events took place which opened our eyes and and um, obviously I've been able to give you an insight to what's really going on. Um, some people will be scared to do that to put their face out there but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not scared. Believe me I face death and once you face death in life um, you become fearless. There's nothing that could take you back to that moment. And there's nothing that will scare you as much as that moment. But then you become fearless. And then you become strong. And those awful things through all your life that you've gone through will come to play. And it'll be an important card in your deck when you need it most. And now all my cards in my deck are ready. Yeah. Fucking right. So yeah, that's all I ask of everybody. Please, listen. Form your opinions, you know, and if you still don't agree with my choices, that is okay, or two okay, as well, you know, that's all. Uh, okay, Whoa, f come on, right, it's okay. Right, she's in the crazy, as you know. Um, let's just hope, you know, this is the signs of getting better, whatever it is, but like we say, we all know the GP, there's something definitely wrong, isn't there? Let's hope it's just something minor, yeah? Something small. Just pray for one. And, um... Oh, yeah. You know, uh, the outpour from uh, NHS staff I've had. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The support. Cheering me on. Thanking me. Talking to me. Um, yeah, the support I'm getting of NHS staff all around the country, not just Wales, all around the country. Um, that's crazy, didn't expect that. Um, but obviously, you know, they're sick of it. And maybe this is your one opportunity. I might be the one opportunity to whistleblow. In relation then to Cayman, uh, like as you know, me and the GPs are on it. It's a great thing game. Um, but based on this morning, the response I've had, because I hadn't updated yesterday, whether it's good news or bad, I think some people want to know. And, um, and that's what I'll continue to do. Like I said, even if it's just me having a walk, talking absolute shit. You watch it for some reason, might as well have some fucking entertainment on the way in there. Oop! And everybody knows me, right? Double diarrhea, no fucking filter. You want honesty, you fucking get it. It just falls out. So, uh, hope I don't offend nobody. But it'll get used to me. It's part of the Welsh vocabulary. No, it's not Welsh. Yes, we do know. It's swearing and it's blasphemy. But we're Welsh. And we're proud. And we say fuck a lot. As in relation to Cayman, as we know now, the MRI scan is booked for Wednesday, the 6th, 10 a.m., Prince Philip. Uh, my GP has checked on that the other things are in, uh, like um, ca camera, colour, there, 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 that, the camera, uh, brain scans, uh, Chrome's disease, they are in, they are documented, tested tests to be done in the future. 
And as you know with me, we're not going to hang about. As soon as we've got the MRI out of the way, I'm going to start hammering the next one, and so on, and so on, and so on. And, uh, yeah, and I'll still take my two bee stings a day, just to clear the head. So, um, yeah, that's it, folks. And, uh, wow, thank you again across the fucking world and everybody, everybody, everybody. And thanks for the inboxes, people concerned this morning. People obviously do want to hear the updates, like I said, you know. Let's hope all this does work out and it's just nothing here, just a bit of constipation. Harley, fucking leave you to the ship. Yay! Let's hope. But I'm too scared to get too um, excited about a difference in pee yet and a difference in his um, demeanour and, and, and stuff because um, it's not like a broken arm, it's an instant fix, an instant diagnosis. Is then. That's, what's, what, that's what it's worrying. When there's something that you know is wrong, but there's no obvious signs like the, uh, you know, the, the vitals. Uh, but you know there's something else, and, and then you've got to dig deep for these things. And unfortunately, with our NHS these days, everybody's stuck on waiting lists. Um, you know, but yet, money going elsewhere, guys, you know. Uh, why are we, we've, all our families paid our taxes, and all our families have fought for our countries, and, you know, for our... For our freedom of speech and our freedom to um, be free, <laughs> you know, to work, to have a home, to have a family, um, to ask for your child's medical records, to request what medication you're putting into my son. Do you don't own my kid? I own my kid. So, and I'll do everything I can within my power and some with every else's. Right. Peace out to you all, and um, have a good day, for one. Okay, so what's coming, uh, just for you guys to know, is a couple of interviews have been lined up, all right? <laughs> um, and I will let you know.